Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey Worship Book. The service follows the form of morning prayers which the community uses on Iona. So there are different prayers and psalms each day of the week and each month a cycle of prayers for the world, different communities and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you're invited to join in the responses. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. The world belongs to God. The yes, earth and earth all its people. people. How good it is, how wonderful. To, to live together, together in unity. Love and faith come together. Justice, Justice and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God. And our, our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Your praise. I will sing a song of love to the one who first loved me, and I'll sing it as a child of God who is named and known and free. For the love of God is good, it is broad and deep and long, and above all else that matters, God is worthy of my song. And I will creation raised its voice well in advance of me. I will sing a song of love to the one who first loved me, and I'll sing it as a child of God who is named and known and free. For the love of God is good, it is broad and deep and long, and above This world is good for God has blessed his place. I will sing a song of love to the one who first loved me. And I'll sing it as a child of God who is named and known and free. For the love of God is good. It is broad and deep and long. And above all. Because God is never neutral, who inspires my song. I will sing a song of love to the one who first loved me. And I'll sing it as a child of God who is named and known and free. For the love of God is good, it is broad and deep and long. Oh, oh. 
Move among us, God, give us life. Let your people rejoice in you. Give us again the joy of your help. With your spirit of freedom, sustain us. God, make our hearts clean. Restore us in body, mind and spirit. Let us pray. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the life of others and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we wound our lives, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. With the whole church, we, we affirm, affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. God, who may live in your house, who may remain in your presence, whoever leads a blameless life and does what is right, who speaks the truth from the heart, whose tongue is never used for slander. God, who may live in your house, who may remain in your presence, whoever, whoever does, does no wrong, wrong to friends, nor spreads false rumours about neighbours, who does, does not praise those God condemns, but blesses those who serve their Maker. God, who may live in your house, who may remain in your presence? Whoever keeps each solemn promise, no matter what the cost, who lends without demanding interest, and can't be bribed to hurt the innocent. God, who may live in your house, who may remain in your presence, those who behave in this way will always remain secure. They will live in God's house. They will remain in God's presence. Listen now in the reading of Scripture for the word and wisdom of God. The reading is taken from Mark's Gospel, Chapter 8, verses 1 to 10. There was another occasion about this time when a huge crowd had collected. And as they had no food, Jesus called his disciples and said to them, My heart goes out to these people. They've been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them home hungry, they will faint on the way, and some of them have a long way to go. His disciples answered, How can anyone provide these people with bread in this remote place? How many loaves have you? he asked. And they answered, Seven. So he ordered the people to sit down on the ground. Then he took the seven loaves, and after giving thanks to God, he broke the bread and gave it to the disciples to distribute. And they distributed it to the people. 
they had also a few small fish which he blessed and ordered them to distribute. They ate and were satisfied, and seven baskets were filled with what was left over. The people numbered about four thousand. Then he dismissed them, and at once got into the boat with his disciples and went to the district of Dalmanutha. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks be to God. First born of Mary, from pocket to preacher, itinerant teacher, outsider's choice. Jesus inspires and his sounds and confuses whoever he chooses to hear his voice. First born of Mary, from pocket to preacher, itinerant teacher, outsider's choice. Jesus inspires and his sounds and confuses whoever he chooses to hear his voice. First born of Mary, provocative preacher, itinerant teacher, outsider's choice. Jesus inspires and his sounds and confuses whoever he chooses to hear his voice. First born of Mary, provocative preacher, itinerant teacher, outsider's choice. Jesus inspires and his sounds and confuses whoever he chooses to hear his voice. First born of Mary, provocative preacher, itinerant teacher, outsider's choice. Jesus inspires and his sounds and confuses whoever he chooses to hear his voice. O God of life, eternity cannot hold you, nor can our little words catch the magnificence of your kindness. Yet in the space of our small hearts and in silence, you can come close and repair us. God of life, grant us your forgiveness for our careless thoughts, for our thoughtless deeds, for our empty speech and the words with which we have wounded. God of life, grant us your forgiveness for our false desires, for our hateful actions, for our wastefulness and all that we have left untended. O loving Christ, hanged on a tree, yet risen in the morning, scatter the sin from our souls as the mist from the hills. Begin what we do, inform what we say, redeem who we are. In you we place our hope, our great hope, our living hope, this day and evermore. Amen. On the seventh day of the month, we pray for people of all faiths and beliefs, the promotion of understanding through dialogue and joint action for justice and peace. And we pray for the following countries, the lands and their peoples, Bulgaria, Czechia, Hungary, Poland, Romania and Slovakia. And we pray for members belonging to the family group of Glasgow North. David Hughes, Rosie Haig and William Spangler, Aileen MacDonald Hack and Torsten with Amelie, Alison May, Petra Meyer, Petra Meyer and Sibine von Hunenbein with Yannick, Joan Miller and David. And at this day of the month, we pray for associate members in England, Midlands.
Walk with them today, O God, and keep us on your way. O God, you gave to your servant Columba gifts of courage, faith and cheerfulness, and sent out your servants from Iona to carry your gospel to every creature. Further in all things the purpose of this community, that hidden things may be revealed to us, and new ways found to touch the hearts of all. May, may we, we preserve, preserve with each other sincere charity and peace, and, and if, if it be your holy will, grant that this place of your abiding continue still to be a sanctuary and a light. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings that cost us nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We will seek peace and pursue it. In the name of the Trinity of love. God in community, holy and one.